Welcome back boys and girls. Let's go ahead and let's go over page 61 of your fourth grade hybrid math workbook. And what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be talking about number patterns, trying to figure out what the rule is so that we can go ahead and complete these number patterns, okay? So let's take a look at numbers 1 through 6 together. Number 1, here we have 22, then it became a 20, then it became an 18. What do you think the pattern is here? Okay, so first of all, I'm not going up, I'm going down, I'm taking away. So let's see if you know, that might work. So 22, how did I get to 2? To, uh, 20, 22, 21, 20, I subtracted 2. 20 to 18, 20, 19, 18, I subtracted by 2. So here, I know that we are subtracting by 2. So 16 minus 2, I'm sorry, 18 minus 2, that's 16. 16 minus 2, 14. 16, uh, 14 minus 2, that's 12, okay? So we're subtracting 2. Now let's take a look at number 2. Here I've got 3, 6, and 9. How did this 3 become a 6? Well, I could add 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Now let's try adding 3 to 9. 6 plus 3, is that 9? Yes, it is. So the rule is going to be plus 3. Now let's see. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18, okay? Now let's take a look at number 3. Number three, we have two, four, eight, sixteen. So how did this two become a four? Well, let's try adding two. Two, three, four, that works. Let's add two to this. So four plus two, four, five, six, that's not gonna work. Let's try a different way. How about two times two? Is two times two four? Yes. How about four times two, is that eight? Yes. How about eight times two, is that 16? Yes, so we're multiplying, so it's going to be times 2. So 16 times 2 equals, okay, now what I can do here is I can go ahead and break this up. 10 plus 6, okay, 2 times 10 plus 6. So that's going to be 2 times 10, that's 20, plus 2 times 6, that's going to be 12, that's going to be 32, okay. 32 goes there. Now, 32 times 2, okay? I'm going to go ahead and do that right there. 32 times 2. I can break that up using the distributive property. I've got 2 times 30 plus 2 equals 2 times 30, that's 60, plus 2 times 2 is 4, that's going to be 64, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase a little bit, okay? So we have space. Now let's take a look at 64 times 2. I got 64 times 2 equals, I'm going to use the distributive property again, okay, 2 times 60 plus 4 equals, that's 64 or 60 plus 4, right? It's correct. So 2 times 60, place value, 2 times 6 is 12, add the 0, plus 2 times 4 is 8, that's going to equal 128. Now let's take a look at number 4. Here, I have 15, then it became 30, then it became 45. Well, if I add, 15 plus what equals 30? Okay, here I've got 110, and I've got 5 1, so let's double it. So 15, 110 would be 25, 5 more, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that's 30, okay? So we have plus 15 here. Is that plus 15 here? 30 plus 15, is that equal 45? Well, let's see. 30, 110, 30, 40, 5 more 1s, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Yes, so this rule is going to be plus 15. So let's just add 15. 45 plus 15, 110, 55, 5 more 1s, 60. 60 plus 15, 110, 70 plus 5 more, 75. 75 plus 15, 110, 85, plus 5 more, 90. There you go. Now let's take a look at number 5. Number 5 says 53, then 50, no, I'm sorry, 55, then 53, then 50. Hmm, let's see. 55, I, I got to 53 by taking away 2. 55, 54, 53. That's minus 2. Here I've got 53 and then it became 50. What happens there? 53, 52, 51, 50. So here I subtracted by 2, 
There I subtracted by 3. What do you think I need to do now? Subtract by 4. Okay, so 56 minus 4, 46. Now I'm going to subtract by 5. 46 minus 5 equals 41. And now I'm going to subtract by 6. 41 minus 6, that's going to be 35. Okay? This one's a tricky one, boys and girls. And there's going to be some tricky ones in your hybrid math workbook, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. But just go ahead and do the best you can. Number six is, two became eight, then eight became 32. Two plus six is eight, eight plus six is 14. That, that's not 32. Two times four is eight, eight times four is 32. That's gonna work. So here, I'm multiplying by four. So if I multiply this by four, I'm gonna, again, I can use a scratch piece of paper. I'm gonna use a distributed property of multiplication. So I'm going to do 4 times 32 equals. So I'm going to break this piece up. It's going to be 4 times 30 plus 2 equals. 4 times 30, 120 equals. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, 120 plus 8 equals 128. Okay, and now these numbers are going to get large, okay, because we're multiplying by 4. That's okay. So here we have 4 times 128 equals. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, a, I'm going to use the distributive property again. Here I've got 4 times, that's 100, plus, that's 210, that's 20, plus an 8, that's just 8 once. So now, 4 times 100, that's 400, plus 4 times 20, that's 80, plus 4 times 8, that's 32 equals. Okay? So now what I can do is I can go ahead and do 400 plus 80 plus, I'm going to go ahead and break that apart, 30 plus 2 equals. So here I've got 400 plus 80 plus 30, that's 480 plus 30 plus 2 equals. I need two bundles of 10 to make 500, 480 plus 30, 490, 500, 510. 510 plus 2 equals 512. So that's going to be 512. Okay. And now let's go ahead and take a look at 512 times 4. My goodness, these numbers are getting large, aren't they? It's a good thing we know the distributive property and place value. So let's go ahead and do 4 times 512 equals. Okay. So here I'm going to do 4 times 500 plus 10 plus 2 equals. 4 times 500 Close that up. 4 times 5 is 20. Add the two zeros. Now I got 2,000 plus 4 times 10, 40 plus 4 times 2. That's going to be 8. 2,000 plus 40. Okay, that's going to be 2,000. 40 plus 8 more equals 2,048. And that's the answer there. And I'm going to put that there. So boys and girls, go ahead and use your knowledge of the distributive property when you're multiplying these large numbers, okay? To, you know, make your life easier. You know place value. Go ahead and do the place value. Break it apart. And you're going to do outstanding. So with that said, boys and girls, we'll see you very soon at the next video.